it's vlogmas day three and i'm working from home today once again it is a thursday um probably gonna sit down here on my couch and do some work on my laptop in front of the christmas tree eloise wants me to throw her toy for her <laughs> and um yeah this is where i'll be all morning and then i might move upstairs later on to my office once I get bored down here. <laughs> Drinking some coffee. There's snow still on the ground. Still pretty Christmassy. It's later on now and it's lunchtime and I just ate a sandwich. I'm making some soup because I'm a little bit cold. It's just noodle soup from Lipton. <laughs> so I'm gonna eat that and then get back to work probably put on some makeup because I have an actual Zoom meeting later on. So I'm gonna have to make myself look presentable. Ben is watching White Christmas on TV while he eats his lunch. Oh, it got really dark. And that's where we're at right now. I'm putting my soup in my Snoopy Christmas mug. And Snoopy's also on the inside. sitting in my office about to get back to work but I just wanted to show you the Christmas decorations I put up here I put some Christmas lights over there on my bookshelf and then over here by my printer I have this Christmas tree and a Christmas candle and that's all I have so far but I also want to put garland above this window with some lights on it you can't really see it because it's dark but I also want to do that there's a treadmill behind me <laughs> that, fun fact, I bought on Amazon a couple of weeks ago um, for $300 because I wanted to start exercising more. And I noticed since we've been working from home that I really just don't move. <laughs> but since I bought it, I have not used it. That's my bad. But, <laughs> but I really want to start using it and just get myself moving some more because i'm just sitting all day long but that treadmill i got on amazon it was 300 dollars, and it's a cheap model and it's easy to move around but from the time i did spend on it it did seem like it worked pretty well i'll give you an updated review later when i properly use it but for now back to work it's later on now and i'm about to make dinner guess what i'm making i make it all the time it's salmon. That's what I'm making. Um, but it's frozen, so I'm kind of annoyed by that. Because it's just going to take longer to cook, and I'm pretty hungry. But I'm going to do it because I need to be healthy and not order junk food. Good will to men. Got my asparagus cut, got my rice cooking, got my salmon cooking. It's questionable, but it's happening. Still frozen solid. Let's see where we're at in the 10 minutes or so. Here's the finished product. The salmon looks horrible. This is why I don't like to make it frozen, but it should taste fine. It is later on now. It's almost 11 o'clock and I had to do work for a couple hours after dinner so I had nothing to film so now I figured I would do a Christmas Q&A with Ben he is opposed to this idea but I'm forcing him to do it as I do most things with Ben I force you to do a lot of things we have the fireplace on the TV and all right, let me find some questions to ask that are Christmas 
themed so we can create some content. Gotta create that content for all my followers. Or I guess I call them subscribers on YouTube. I have 39 of them. Gotta give them good content. First question, what is your favorite Christmas movie? It's a Wonderful Life. Really? My favorite Christmas movie? Mm, that's a hard one because I have so many favorites. I think probably Christmas Vacation. <laughs> I think because my family watches it together every year so it just puts me in the Christmas spirit. But we also watch a lot of other movies together like Elf and I don't know all the classics but I think I'm gonna have to go with Christmas Vacation and my number two favorite Christmas movie Eloise at Christmas Time two of Ben's favorites it's an awful movie have you ever had a white Christmas well it would be the same for both of us because we've lived in the same area our whole lives yeah, we've definitely had. And we have Christmas. definitely had white Christmases a couple of times, I would say. Do you open any presents on Christmas Eve? I already know the answer to this question. Ben doesn't, and my family does. Usually what we do on Christmas Eve is we open gifts that we got from, like, extended family members. Like, my aunt always sends a box of Christmas things, and we open that. And she always sends us PJs, and we open those and put them on. And then we exchange Christmas gifts with each other. So there's a lot of gift exchanging going on on Christmas Eve. And then on Christmas morning, it's usually presents that we get from Santa. Next question. That's such a dumb question. It's spelled wrong. The question is, can you name all of Santa's reindeer? Of course. Who's, oh, er, who's Who name? doesn't know all the names of Santa's reindeer? I guess if you're younger, you wouldn't know, but... What holiday traditions are you looking forward to this year? I'm Tree's looking... my favorite part. It's already done. Oh. Well, you have nothing to look forward to then. No, that's not true. I just... <laughs> I do like the tree the most. Ben's favorite holiday tradition is the tree. I also like the tree. But that's over with for this year. So I'm looking forward to doing the Christmas cookies with your family and also with my family. And These are fun. now the ba the dough's done too. That's even better. Yeah. Because I don't like mixing the dough. Yeah. I would say going to Overly's for the Christmas lights, but it's going to be different this year because of COVID. So it's just going to be a drive through light thing, which isn't going to be as fun. Um, What else? Watching Christmas movies? I guess the question was what I'm most excited for. So. What I'm most excited for is the cookies. And then second to that, I'm excited for my dad's seafood on Christmas Eve. Is your Christmas tree real or fake? Real, of course. I would never have a fake Christmas tree because that would be so depressing. Would you ever get a fake Christmas tree? Mm-hmm. I lived in like a apartment way up high somewhere. Live in an apartment. No, we live in a townhouse. We lived in an apartment three stories high. It was really just one flight of stairs, though. Mm. So, like, but if I lived in, like, where your brother lives, I'd probably get a fig tree. Yeah, true. That would be the inst only instance. It just wouldn't be the same without a real tree. What's your all-time favorite holiday treat slash food slash sweet? Pumpkin pie. Hmm. That's a pretty good one. Um, it's like the only sweet I, I like eat. all sweets, so it's really hard for me to pick just one. Just to make Ben mad, I'm going to pick pepper, pepper cookies. cookies. Yep. <laughs> that my mom makes They're for Christmas awful. every They're year. Awful. It's an Italian Christmas cookie. It's awful. And it's good. It's just awful. It's a cookie with pepper in it and cocoa and pineapple and walnuts, I'm pretty sure. Is she allergic to pineapple? <clears throat> Yes, but there's not enough in it that, to bother me. What would be your dream place to visit for the holiday season? 
I wouldn't want to visit somewhere during the holiday season because I like to be around with my family. So unless my family was going with me, I wouldn't want to go somewhere during Christmas. But I would like to go somewhere during like after Christmas, like between Christmas and New Year's maybe. It says for the holiday season, right? Yeah. So that means like when you like to go to New, you like New York during the holiday season. So True. It doesn't have to be on Christmas for the question. So you True. could go beforehand. I've always liked the idea of going to the, like Switzerland or something. True. That'd be fun. I always like when Zoella goes to Edinburgh. Or Edinburgh? What's it called? Edinburgh. Edinburgh. They have a cool Christmas market looking thing that I think would be fun. And it just looks cute there. Um, any more questions? I need 10 minutes worth of content. Most memorable holiday moment. <laughs> I don't know if I have a most memorable holiday moment. I think mine's probably negative, so I don't really want to talk about it. Oh my god. What happened? As a kid, did a sibling ever receive a present that you wished was for you? I don't think that's ever happened to me either. You would think it would have happened because we both have three siblings. But... Did you ever have that thing where your parents wrap the, or write the wrong name on it? That happened to me once. I got like... It was from my parents. It has nothing to do. You made this about Santa. <laughs> Say that again? You know, like your parents will like wrap a gift for you like, and it ends up being like the wrong person. It's like I got my sister's gift and it was very confusing why I was oh. getting a dress. Oh, it was a dress. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever gone to Christmas caroling? Old when? folks homes, yeah. I was a kid. Why? Boys, Cub Scouts, I guess it would have been. Hmm. I think I went Christmas caroling at an old person's home with um, my dance class or something like that. And I'm sure I've done it with choir at some point. What tops your Christmas tree? An angel. There she is. When I was a kid, it always changed. I really like our Christmas tree topper. I feel like I'm going to keep it for the rest of my life. That's what's going to be on the top of our Christmas tree. Forever and ever until it rusts away. But my family always had an angel on the top of their Christmas tree. Not like that one, but like an actual like doll angel. Um, yeah, actually we had one very similar to yours. Yeah, For I like one, that angel because it's- um, used to do a star. It kind of reminds me of a star mixed with an angel. I think for a couple of years my mom did this one that was like a globe and it would have like Santa Claus going around it. Yeah. I remember that one. I'm pretty sure it broke. I think it might have broke too. Because otherwise she would keep using it. Yeah, she really liked that one. Do you have any funny Christmas stories or memories? No. <laughs> <laughs> What's your typical Christmas day? Christmas morning with well, Jameson this year. It'll be fun. Um, Christmas morning, get up around 8. And with uh, my family. And we have dinner around 2. And then go to your place. And have dinner with your family around 6. Yep. <laughs> That's about it. Same. I wake up, usually I go to my stocking first, look to see what's in there, wait for everyone to come downstairs, then we all open our Christmas presents. Do you each take turns opening presents? Mm-mm. You just all go for it all Actually, uh, my sister, they, we normally divide up the room or whatever and then open presents, but I actually always wait for mine. I normally like to watch my sisters. We just open ours all at the same time. Then we usually, lays around i get ready to go to your parents then we have thanksgiving not thanksgiving basically thanksgiving meal there and then we come back to my parents house have the same turkey meal 
and maybe watch a movie or do some, play a game or something. And that's it for Christmas. Christmas night is always very depressing. I don't like when it's over. What's your dream Christmas present? I don't know if I have one. Enough money to get Maybe out of college a house. debt? A house is my dream Christmas present. Okay. Looks like we're both shooting for the cheap <laughs> end of that spectrum. <laughs> All right, the Christmas Q&A is over. I think we got some good content there for the vlog. Do it for the vlog. And now I'm gonna get ready for bed. I'm gonna end the vlog here. And we'll see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 4. Bye. <laughs> the fireplace says bye. Merry Christmas. <laughs>